The next part of that question asks, what volume of acid is required to reach the equivalence point? So then we need to think again. I know, right? It's awful. There are so many types of questions that can be asked and in so many different ways that the only way to be successful is to be able to think about it so that if you see something brand new on an exam, you can figure it out. And once, once you get used to that idea, it's not so bad. So this volume of acid needed, this is a titration calculation, not an equilibrium thing. This is just 1A type stuff. So what is our reaction? We've got the methylamine, and that is being reacted with HCl, and that's forming water and salt. And I'll write it here, but I wouldn't expect you uh, to necessarily know what that was. It's methylamine chloride. So our question tells us that we have 25 uh, milliliters of the methylamine, and we're given the concentration, 0.175, molar, and we're given the concentration of the HCl, and what we want is the volume. Now, please do not use the dilution equation to solve this problem. The sad thing is, it would work for this one, but it will not work for everything, and so it's a very bad habit to get into. Use stoichiometry. M1 V1 equals M2 V2. You really don't want to do that because if your stoichiometry is not one to one, your answer will be wrong. So at, at the equivalence point, the moles of base are equal to the moles of acid. So how many moles of base do we have in this solution? Well, we have 25 milliliters and it's 0.175 moles per liter, or 0.175 millimoles per milliliter. So that's millimoles of base. So that equals um, moles of base. At the equivalence point, moles of base equals moles of acid. So let's go ahead and calculate that. 25 times 0.175, 4.375 millimoles. Well, what volume of HCl do I need to get that many millimoles of acid? We can just think of this in terms of dimensional analysis, 4.375 millimoles, and I want to divide by moles and multiply by liters. That's the, the concentration, 0 0.150 moles per liter. So 0 0.150 moles per liter. If I stick millis in there, then the millimoles cancel. So I've got 4.375 divided by 0.15 equals should be 29.2 milliliters. This is the place where you can run into trouble if it's like a diprotic acid or a triprotic acid because you have to look, is it, is it one mole of base per one mole of acid or is it two moles of base to one mole of acid? Any questions?